Hey guys, let's see how to connect a real link camera to the app. Here I have a real link camera connecting via cable to my router. That's the RLC510A. And here I have a real link that's a Wi Fi camera, the Argos 3. Okay. This has a QR code and this doesn't. All right. So let me just add both of them to the app. So it's pretty simple. You just need to bring your real link app. If you don't have it, you just go to your store and download this one. And here in the main screen, let me just uh, remove the other camera that I have here and start fresh, right? When you log into your app, you just need to add a new camera. In this case, if, if I'm adding this camera here, the Wi-Fi camera, I'm going to reset it first, okay? So let me just grab here a paper clip and then I can reset this camera. So here there's a reset button. You need a paper clip for this. So I have one just right here. I need to press and hold until I hear a sound or a message and also the LED changes here. So I'm press and hold here. There we go. So it's reset. Now I just need to wait for the camera to reboot and hear a sound. There we go. So there's this sonar sound here. Okay. Now I just come here to my app, add a new device. And here I'm gonna scan the QR code that I have here. There we go. Okay. And then just tap here, hit next. Okay, I heard the sound or voice prompt. Now I just uh, need to enter my uh, router's Wi-Fi that I want to connect to. Let me just switch here, connect to a different one. What I do is just come here to my Wi-Fi and change my Wi-Fi to a new one. Then the app is gonna find it, right? Let me just wait for it to load. There we go. Wait a little bit more because I have a different Wi-Fi here. Just gonna wait for it to load. That's the one that I want. So I just click here. So my cell phone is connected to the Wi-Fi now. I come back here to the app. You see that it changes here. Then I'm gonna insert here a password that I have, which is a temp password just for testing. Just confirm, temp pass. Next. Now I need to scan. The camera needs to scan a QR code that is going to show up here, all right? So just hit here, scan now. And then I'm gonna point this to the camera. It's better to do this, so you go to full screen. Let me just point this to the camera. And see how it goes. There we go, I hear a sound. Then I can come back here to the app, double click, and next. I heard the sound, it's asking if it it's connected to the router, I heard a sound. That means it's probably connected to the router. So I just hit next. There we go. Starting the device. I just need to insert a password here. Let me just use the same one that I'm testing, temp pass. Next. Just select any name here for my camera. Next. Next again, and it's done, okay? Should be working now. I'm just tap here, and you see this working back there. So pretty simple, right? Now for the other camera here, if the camera comes from the factory, it's a reset camera, so there's no password there or anything. You just need to come here and add a new camera now. And I'm going to use, um, Instead of reading a QR code, which I don't have here, I'm gonna use the LAN method, right? And then select here and scan the network. If it doesn't find your network, you just need to check your Wi-Fi. If your camera is connected to the router, and I just need to have my cell phone connected to the same router. I have different routers and repeaters here. Let me just make sure that I have my cell phone connected to this one. That's the one the camera is connected to. When I come back to the app, you see, I found the camera. So I just 
just hit add, wait for it to connect. Just uh, insert a password here. There we go, it's correct. Next. Give the key a name. And should be working now. It is working, see? Pretty good, huh? So guys, that's the way you can have your real link cameras uh, to your phone. You can just connect them by downloading the app and you just can read the QR code here after you you reset the camera. And here, you just need to connect the camera to the same router that the uh, cell phone is connected to. Remember that I have here the cable connected to the camera and my cable here in this case is powering the camera because I have a PoE cable, PoE switch, power over ethernet. If you don't have power over ethernet in your switch, and then you need to use a power supply. So there is an option here to connect the power supply and then you connect the cable directly to the router, okay? I connect here to the switch uh, and from the switch I connect to the router because I have a PoE switch. So it works, I hope this helps. Please leave your comments here, subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and I see you in the next video.